Hello everyone, I'm Akelia Plomo. There are two things you'll know about me at the end of this presentation. I'm a foodie and I'm a sociology student. So, our theme. Rebuilding FARO, a new social contract with meaningful youth engagement. Okay, how will we tackle this heavy topic? Firstly, it's only right that if I'm going to tell you about rebuilding FARO, I need to say why I believe we need to do so. There's a particular theory by George Becker which explains the retention of the plantocracy system. You know, the white plantation owners, the sugar production system, the blacks, the mulattoes. He believes that in the same way that social stratification was based on ascribed features such as race, colour and gender, the exact same thing transferred to the 21st century. Our social interactions and social mobility in this modern day and age are all dependent on certain features. Thus, you see two sides of Jamaica. On one side, you see a citizen with a $50 million car and on the other side, you see a citizen having to buy a squeeze of toothpaste at a corner shop. The life chances, the opportunities to advance given to us as Jamaicans are dependent on certain features. Whether you want to view it as class or colour, it is all one and the same in Jamaican society. This takes me to the point of actually rebuilding our social contract, which we need to do in order to have meaningful progressions, in order for us to actually prosper as a nation. We need to examine the fine print on our social contract. What does it say about how we interact with one another, how we view one another? How the rulers interact with those they rule. How the person on the bus interacts with the person in the X6. The mores of the society versus the taboos of the society. What do we have in our social contract that is hindering us from experiencing long-term progression? Now, here's when I say that the Sustainable Development Goals serve not only as something to achieve, but guidelines for how we can move from a developing country to a developed country. My favorite dish is spicy chicken alfredo and so I'm going to use it to help explain my point. So, one of the most important elements is the pasta, which represents SDG 10 reduced inequalities. The foundation for us to rebuild our social contract and advance as a society. For everyone to contribute to the progression of our society, Everyone has to be given the same life chances, which will only happen if we have reduced inequalities. We need to rewrite our social contract. Next, we move on to the seasonings. You know, the garlic powder, onion powder, all-purpose, which represents SDG 9. Industry, innovation and infrastructure. The development of these in the right areas with the right amounts and placements will guarantee a new and improved social contract. Have you ever taken time to consider why Kingston and St. Andrew and slowly Mobay and St. James are more developed than other parishes? As much as we need financial help and resources, we need intentional development and spending on these three institutions by developing our most important resources human. Building on the social skills of our citizens. The best way to do this is by meaningful youth engagement. Not only in the manifestos but in real life for all decisions and sectors. We are the ones engaged in the social media sites. We are the ones who control popular culture. We have our ears to the ground. If you want to change the society, you need to know the society and we know the society. We need not only be used for our opinions, but for implementation. Again, we need not only be used for our opinions, but for implementation and execution of policies. Our contribution needs to be written within our social contracts. Lastly, our Alfredo sauce. Partnership among all the goals, SDG 17. This is a widespread SDG which binds all the SDGs together, as the Alfredo sauce does. Having partnerships among all sectors of the goals that are including environmental, economic, comfort, justice, human rights, etc. will help place our citizens in better positions to help advance our society. 
It's all about the domino effect. But the most important fundamental thing to remember is that for this idea to become a successful reality, we must exponentially improve on the trails of each day in order to rebuild our social contract.